My name is Ben Scutt, and I am a concept artist for Heroes of New Earth. Hey guys, my name is Adam Arnazzi, aka Ace JR, and I'm the community manager for Han. Hi, uh, my name is Ryan McDaniel, aka Loremeister. I'm the director of content here at uh, Heroes of New Earth. Ursacore is a cool, badass set of avatars that is based around the concept of this futuristic, mech-oriented group of, of girls that just build these mech suits and go and trounce around New Earth destroying their opponents, pretty much. The whole theme of Ursacore is really exciting because we have the opportunity to take a lot of heroes that we really couldn't represent with a female avatar and bring that feel to them. We wanted to keep them strong because many of the Ursa avatars are actually four strength heroes, but we also wanted to give them that nice feminine feel without feeling too bulky, without feeling too sleek. We wanted to be able to hit that kind of middle ground. And by making these heroes, inside of mech suits, we're able to get the best of both worlds. It's the uh, first time we've actually done an entire set just dedicated to eSports for avatars and, and all the other ancillaries that are gonna come along with it, taunts, uh, couriers, name colors, announcer packs. Um, to pull a theme together this big has been a really ambitious undertaking for the entire content team. The best thing about the EarthCore avatars overall is the fact that 25% of all proceeds that we make from these avatars are going straight back into the Haunt Tour Season 3 prize pool. So whether that means you're buying them via Plinko, whether that means you're buying the avatars in the store, that these EarthCore avatars are actually supporting and bolstering the prize pool for every cycle and the grand finals. It's really difficult for a lot of these avatars to be able to bring in somewhat of a feminine aspect without losing the silhouette of the character. We want people to be able to recognize who the hero is immediately in the game. And if we completely change what the hero looks like, for example, by giving it a female avatar, people can't recognize who it is. But we still want people to have that flexibility because there is quite a bit of a ratio difference in the examples of how many female avatars that we have compared to male and monster avatars. So we really wanted to bring that in without breaking the gameplay. So by balancing those two aspects of really large bulkiness with the feminine aspects, I think we've done a great job of being able to bring that into the game. One of my favorite Ursacore avatars is actually the Gauntlet avatar. And what it is is this chick, and like I said, they're in mech suits, so she's in a, a red slick mech suit, and in her hand, or her gauntlet, she has this like morphine, uh, I don't even know what to call it, substance. So whenever she uses an ability, it changes into a different object. It's kind of like Green Lantern in a way, but a little bit more badass. So um, if you use your ultimate, then it becomes this big fist, and it just launches at an opponent, and then grabs onto him, and the animations are just sick. The overall, all the Ursa Core avatars have amazing effects, amazing animations, and this one was just one of the ones that stood out to me. My favorite avatar right now is probably gonna be Ursa Core Flux. Um, she's a really cool concept that uh, takes a lot of elements you've seen in some other, um, some other kind of characters, and, and draws them together into something that's distinctly Flux, yet very feminine at the same time. Uh, the use of the uh, the energy and the, the glow and the, the total character shift is um, something that we think is really unique and that I think our players are really going to enjoy too. I'd have to say that of the avatars, I'm a bit partial towards Devo, uh, partially because she was the one that started the whole Ursa idea and I just get a kick out of the gigantic bear head on the back of the Devo suit. It, just as a really nice design element. All right guys, this has been in the works for quite a while. So whether you're in it just to get a badass avatar or whether you want to support Hauntor Season 3, whatever the reason is, Ursacore is coming to New Earth and we can't wait to see the Ursacore in our New Earth. So be ready, Ursacore is coming to New Earth. <laughs>